Hey folks, welcome back to Beefnopolis Horror Story Pine View Drive Horror How To. I am Alex Beefna. And uh, so, just to make up for this game being fun but not all that scary, I. Well, it. Hello. Oh, thunderstorm. That's not. How are we seeing lightning? There are no windows in this room. Um. What I've been doing with this game is. Oh shit, son! Well, what the fuck just happened? As I was saying, it's not that scary. Um, I got jump scared. Yeah, that's great. Random scary noise. Now, jump scares equal keys. So there's a key in here somewhere. I turn the lights on. Ah. Uh. Okay, where is it? I know it's here. Nope, I guess it's not. Okay. Anyway. To make up for this game not being terribly scary and actually being kind of repetitive to watch, I have been doing kind of a, uh, some how-to. Yeah. Little things as I'm playing it. Let me turn the flashlight on here. There we go. So, uh, let's see, uh, the last time we did basic plumbing, uh, the first time we did how to grill a cheese. This time, go up the stairs, turn on, hey, turn it on, turn, turn on. This time, we're gonna do basic ass knife skills. Back to the, uh, back to the culinary stuff. Basic ass knife skills, um... I'm not even talking about, you know, like the slice and dice and julienne and batonet and... No, not even that stuff. I'm talking about... Oops, that's not what I meant to do. That's what I meant to do. Stuff like how not to cut your fucking fingers off. Okay? That's what I'm talking about. I've been in here a couple of times. Um... Basically... That's, that's what I do. That's what I do. Anywho. There we go. Some lovely artwork here. Okay. So. Uh, cats are, cats are having a little air show behind me. They do that. Pay no mind. Let's see. I think this is the room I was in last time. No, this is, this is the broom closet. There are, there is a broom in there. Okay, so you start off, how do you choose a knife? How do you choose a chef knife? Okay, well, I, there's no hard and fast criteria for this, really. What you want to do is go to a decent store. Go to I, your William Sonoma, overpriced as they may be, your Bed Bath Beyond, those kind of places. Pick the knives up, handle the knives, touch the knives, love the knives, caress the knives. Most importantly, you want one that's not too big, not too small, feels comfortable in your hand. And some people like a like a thinner handle, some people like a fatter handle, some people like a lighter knife, some people like a heavier knife. Uh, my personal guideline is I like one that is about the length of my hand from uh, can I that that door is that door already open okay that's permanently open oh that's okay never mind uh, I like one that's about the length of my hand from the heel of my hand up to the tip of my middle finger so you know, and I have little tiny hands oh, shit so your mileage may vary depending on the size of your hands. Um, nice orbs and shit up in here. That, that's awesome. Um, I have a, a J.A. Henkel's 7-inch chef's knife, personally. I've found it to be quite nice. I like it a lot. I've had it for... Hello. I've had it for years. It has served me well. I don't think there's anything in here. 
Nope, nothing in there. Okay. How do you care for your knife then? Um, basically, keep it clean, keep it dry. If you cannot wash it immediately after you're done cooking whatever it is that you're cooking, I, first of all, come on, it takes like 30 seconds with a scrubby pad and some soap. Come on, wash your damn knife. Okay. Oh, uh, let me, there we go. I'm gonna turn the lights on. There we go. Okay. Keep it, uh, don't, don't just throw it in the sink, though, when you're done with it. Okay, there's a jump scare in here. Door's locked, find the matching key. Okay. Yeah, there's a jump scare somewhere in here that I've got to trigger. Piano! Okay. Turn the flashlight off. Can I play with the piano? No, I cannot. Um, can I turn the lights on? Son? Up. Oh. Son, get down. Get. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, something is here. Can I play with the piano at all? Okay, obviously there's a jump scare in here because I'm getting the, the flash. Um, hello. There's somebody downstairs. Okay. Did I just hear laughter from the swing? The swing in the garden. garden. Thank you. All right. That's where he, that's where he's hearing this shit. Okay. Uh, where was I? Okay. Don't just throw your knife in the sink and leave it there. Wash it. Put it away. Store it in a block. Store it in a drawer. Store it on one of those magnetic thingies from Ikea. Where is the swing? I have no idea where the swing is. This way? No, that's not it. Uh, yeah, store it, um, you know, take care of it. If it's... And you want to keep the damn thing sharp, okay? I, you say Alex, but Alex, a sharp knife will hurt me. It, it will slip and it will cut me. No, it won't. You know what will slip and cut you? A dull knife that is not going to cut the food that you're trying to cut with it. That's what will slip and cut you. Okay. Swing. Okay, key. Ah, key, key. Give key. Maybe this one will get in the back? Yeah, I've been trying to get in the back door for like uh, six episodes now, I think. Now, I, I, this is only the third, fourth episode. How can I... Nah, find the matching key. Okay. Uh, back in the house we go. This weather sucks. Uh, so yeah, keep your knife sharp. You can, you can buy a sharpener that will... Hello. That will, uh, you know, take care of the worst of it yourself. Um, it should go without saying, be careful sharpening your knife. But better to take it to a professional if it starts getting really dull. And how can you tell if your knife needs sharpened? Well, obviously, if it's not cutting your fucking food, it needs sharpened. Uh, the best thing to test on is a tomato. Test it on a tomato. Is that... Ah, uh, that just turned everything off. If it goes through a tomato cleanly and easily, it is sharp. And no further maintenance is necessary. If it does not go through a tomato cleanly and easily... No, not Fanny Mansion Key. Uh, that's when it needs sharpened. So... 
Let's see. Uh, how do you hold your knife? Right, don't lay your finger along the top of the blade. That's what noobs do. You don't want to do that because you're not a noob. You are a trained home chef and you know what the fuck you're doing. Now, what you do is you take your thumb and your forefinger and you kind of curl up your forefinger. Hoops. Uh, hoops did it me. You curl up, uh, curl up your forefinger and kind of pinch the blade at the uh, base of the handle. I need to find the matching key. Um, you pinch the blade and then you just kind of let the rest of your fingers curl underneath the handle and hold it that way. There's not going to be anything in here. And then, with a firm but gentle grasp on the blade, on the knife, you can then proceed to cut your food. I've been here. All right. I can't see a sh I can't see shit. I'm gonna brighten this up in post so you'll be able to see. But uh yeah. Hey. Okay. Back upstairs we go. Yeah, what do you do with how do you hold your food so you don't cut your fingers off? Hey, open the door. How do you hold your food so as not to cut off your fingers? Well, you take your other hand and you do what, what uh, we call the paw or the claw. As the name implies, you kind of curl your fingers, your fingertips under and hold the food with your knuckles, sort of. Um, look this shit up on YouTube or all recipes or whatever. Oh, fun fact, I actually got banned from all recipes one time. Um, <laughs> but that that's another story. Okay, this is not where I need to be. Okay. Uh, I think there's there's one upstairs. Yeah, there we go. But you kind of kind of curl your fingertips under so that you do not chop them off with the knife. I have sliced my fingertip with a knife before. It hurts like a motherfucker. Don't do it. I, I, I hardly recommend against doing this thing. I don't think this is where I want to be. Uh, it, actually, it may well be where I want to be. So, uh, you curl your fingers under. Okay, random scary music. Alright, and the other thing you want to do is make sure that you have your cutting board secured. Uh, it's, it's a bad idea to have your cutting board right on the edge of the counter, wobbling around and shit. Okay, I didn't see that door before. Oh god, that's a mannequin. Ah, yes, key. Batteries, thank you. Ah, there we go. Anything in the basket? Any matches here? No. Oh, there we go. Can this be opened? No. Alright. Ugh, fucking mannequins. Gotta secure your cutting board. Uh, wobbly cutting board is bad. All right, and uh, how do you how do you secure your round vegetables then? I mean, have uh, it's it's you can't you got this thing that you want to cut like an onion or a carrot, and it's rolling all over the place. Okay, you cut a little thin slice off one side of it. That's all you have to do. Just cut a little bit off one side of it. Presto, you have a flat surface to put the food on. You have a flat surface that will not roll around, roll all over your cutting board. Is that that's not where I want to go, is it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. 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 Um, I, I I actually have this outlined here, and I'm trying to read and play at the same time. I'm going the wrong way. So once you get to actually cutting your food, 
you want to use, you know, small, efficient motions. Keep the knife close to the food. I, this is not... You're not putting on a fucking show here. This is not Benny Hanna. You're not a hibachi chef. You're not Hannibal Lecter. You're some scrub in his kitchen. Or her kitchen. Or their kitchen. Cutting up vegetables or whatever to put in your ramen, most likely. Or maybe you make an omelet with. Whatever. I'm... You're... This is not this is not a show. This is not a competition. Okay. You know what what you are going to do if you flail your knife around trying to look cool? You're going to put someone's eye out with it. That's what you're going to do. And that's not cool. That that's really uncool. You don't want to do it. Okay? Don't do that. Now I'm not going to get into all the, you know, the the fancy cuts and juliennes and restaurant cuts and all that culinary school shit. Um but I will talk a little bit about the basic motions of cutting. There is the uh, the slice, which is where you hold the food to oh, fuck you. You hold the food down and you smoothly and easily with a sort of sawing motion move get the knife through the food. This is for big stuff, this is for tough stuff. Now, if you're having an inordinately hard time getting the knife through the food, and you're having to saw and saw and saw and saw and saw, uh, you might want to have... There you go. You might want to have your knife sharpened. That is not a mannequin, is it? Oh, fuck this. Uh, that thing is going to jump at me. Uh, it's going to... Nope. Fuck you, clown. We're locked. There we go. Nuh-uh, clown. You ain't getting me. Batteries? A remote. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna hold that thought with the shiny paper. So that is the slice, um, used on big things, on meats, on uh, large vegetables, tough vegetables. There is the chop, that you, it's basically, you put the knife on the food and you push straight down. Noises woke Linda again last night. Uh-huh. I heard them too. Yeah, this is, this is it, what shiny clearly. papers. Okay, there's, uh, okay, while this is loading, there's the chop, you put the knife on the food, you push it straight down. You use that on your onions, your tomato, or your, uh, not tomatoes, you slice tomatoes. The, the chop you use on, you know, s smaller stuff. Oh, it's actually light outside. Was there no key? Ah, oh, shit. Was there no key? Where was I? Where did I find this? Here? Was it here? It was there. Okay. Fucking clown. Let me let me look again, cause there's got there has to have been a key. Ah, dude. Okay. No key? Seriously, there's no key? Did I miss the key? Uh, there, I have no keys. I have zero keys. So now not only am I looking for a door, I'm looking for a key! This is bogus. Unless... No, that uh, doesn't really do anything cool. Okay, um... Alright then, back to knife skills. There is the, uh, the back slice, which is what you use for delicate things, like leaves and herbs and shit like that. You... Okay, locked. 
Ah, oh, I gotta mess with the clown, don't I? Give me the matches. Ah, oh, that's adorable. Hee hee. Hee hee hee. Hee hee. That's gonna kill me. Okay. You, uh, hold the, uh, the leaves on the cutting board. Yes. Just a second. Hello? Okay. And you just uh, kind of pull the point of the knife back through them and just very gently slice them. And again, this should go fairly easily. I don't think that's the key, that uh, that's the phone I wanted. What? 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 Hello? <sighs> okay, am I missing something down here? No. No, it, it's the other phone. Okay. This phone? Not this phone. Phone? No. Phone? No. Okay. Phone? Alright, hold on. I know there's another phone. Yep, it's in here. Or is it not? Okay, it's gotta be this way then. There? No. Uh, son, get off the table. Get. Well, where's the damn phone? A fucking mannequin. Ugh. Uh, pardon my uh, interruption of uh, knife skills explaining. I I'm busy trying to find a damn phone. <sighs> oh, anyway. The last uh, sort of cut is the, the uh, what I refer to as the rock and chop. It's not that one. Ah, oh, shit. Which is where you hold the point of the knife down with your non-cutting hand. And then you uh, just in a kind of rocking motion cut up, uh, yeah, kind of rock it. I, I, what am I doing? Uh, oh my god, it's already open. Just rock the knife, rock and chop. And rock and chop. Um. Not my footsteps. It's not in here. It can't be in here. There's no phone in there. Where's the phone? So you use that, uh, the, the rocking, chopping motion for, um, mincing herbs, mincing onions, and stuff like that. Son of a bitch! Where is it? So that's a little bonus, um, since I'm not quite done yet. How do you cut an avocado in half? A oh. phone ringing somewhere. Really? Sure of it. Really? I didn't notice. I had... No, thanks. That's really helpful. 
shit. So how do you cut an avocado? Well, you're asking that question. Obviously, you never played Cooking Mama. Because if you played Cooking Mama, you would know how to slice an avocado, all right? You would know how an avocado works. But, since you didn't play Cooking Mama, I'll explain it to you. You take the knife, and, ah, there it is. Ah, dude, watch it, watch it. Cat is up in the lap, all right. You get the knife into the avocado lengthwise. Okay, that's the, okay, dude. Come on, get down, get down, buddy. All right, thank you. Get that knife into that avocado lengthwise. Well, here it is. No, that that's not it. Is that not it? Yes. Downstairs? Or outside? Shh. Okay, fine. So anyway, put, you know, get the knife into the avocado until you hit the pit, all right? Then you kind of turn the avocado around. Turn it around, turn it around, turn it around. Until, there, there it is. That's got to be it. Hey! Ah, finally. Then uh, just turn the avocado around until you've sliced all the way through, all the way around. That's not where I want to go. I can't see, damn it. I can't see jack diddly damn it. Good luck, find the resin key. Turn some lights on up in here. Once you've gotten the uh, avocado sliced all the way around, you just unscrew it. You unscrew it like an Oreo. You unscrew that avocado like an Oreo. Half of it will still have the pit in it. I don't think this is where I want to be. I'll try it anyway. What the hell? Now, how do you get the pit out? You get the pit out. Um, get a good... Uh, hey, all right. Get a good grip on the avocado. And you just kind of... Uh, oh, God. Oh, God. It's dark in here. You kind of thwack the knife into the pit. Do not miss. Do not miss. I, I cannot stress this enough. Because uh, if you miss, you're going to go right into your hand with that knife. And it's going to be terrible. Okay. Any uh, keys in here? Nah. Shiny papers? Keys? Good luck, find the magic key. Right, you thwack that knife into that avocado. Hello. And then, uh, again, you make an unscrewing sort of motion. Uh, oh, yuck, that's fish. Make a sort of unscrewing motion with the knife. Uh, think of the pit as a screw and the knife as your screwdriver. And you just twist the pit right out. And uh, be very careful taking it off the knife because it, it, it's probably going to be stuck in there real good. Okay, so now what? Now what do I do? How do you actually slice the avocado? Once you have, uh... Once you have de-pitted it, you just take a spoon, you scoop it out of the skin, and you just take your knife and you fucking slice it. That's it. That's it. You don't need one of those stupid-ass unitaskers. Avocado slicer. No, you don't need that. You don't need an avocado slicer. You just need your chef's knife and a spoon. And that's it. That's all you need. I have no idea where I'm going or what I'm doing at this point. Ah, oh, shit. This is uh, something I've never noticed. Okay. 
<laughs> a key. I'm so excited I choked. There's a key. All right. Maybe this will be the back door. Maybe? Maybe? Huh? Huh? No, it's not the back door. Shit. So that's it. You, you slice that avocado up and you eat it. And that's it. You know what I like to do with avocados? I like to put just a little bit of balsamic vinegar on and a little bit of kosher salt and that's it. That's all they need. An avocado is like butter that grows on a tree. You just grow it, you peel it, and you put it in your face. Just the way God intended. Oh, fun, uh, little fun bonus with avocado. Uh, you know, you can use avocados in place of, I don't need to go there, in place of uh, mayonnaise, in place of I've used it in place of uh, mayonnaise, I've used it in place of uh, cream cheese sometimes, although it, it needs a little bit of seasoning. Avocados uh, disappear into smoothies really well. They are chock full of good fats. And they're just, they're delicious. They're just delicious. Is there anything here that I missed? I don't think so. Alright, I'm going upstairs. Yeah, um, as soon as I uh, find whatever shiny paper we're looking for here. Ah, uh, buddy, buddy. Buddy, buddy. Ow! I got his, he got his little leg tangled up in the, uh, headphone cord. Dude, your butt. Your butt. Out of my face. Please. For love of, the love of God, get your butt out of my face. That's not where I want to go. Turn the flashlight off. You're wasting batteries. Wasn't there a door here somewhere? Yeah, right there. Excuse me, do you know where the- hey, thank you. Uh-uh-uh, get down. Get down, buddy. Get down. Son of a bitch! Shiny paper. Yes, shiny paper! Uh, but first, uh, a battery? No, that's a- that's a lobster. Toys- up. Uh, there's batteries. Okay. Oh, some steak, some dried fish. Dude, can you please get out of my grill? There we go. Alright, here we go. Oh, matches. Give me the matches. I already have ten matches. Well, maybe I want more matches. Did you ever think about that? And there's no keys. No keys. Great. Let's read the shiny Crows paper. Been circling the house all day. Their cacophony makes it almost unbearable to be outside. Ah, yes. That, that's not an omen. That's, that's nothing scary. Oops, crap. I just dropped the laser pointer on the floor. Okay, folks. That's it for today. <laughs> Day 8, yay. That's it for today's installment of uh, Beefnopolis Horror Stories Horror How-To on Pineview Drive. Uh, I will see y'all next week. Take it easy. Bye-bye.